Tip 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Jim Nunn. The Canadian dollar hit a modern day high today, busting through the dollar 10 US mark. And as the gap between the loonie and the American dollar grows, so does concern about what it may cost Nova Scotians. We're starting to feel serious consequences. We'll cover this story from Liverpool tonight, where the Bowwater Mersey plant is on the line, from southwest Nova Scotia, where lobster fishermen will set fewer traps this winter, and from Bridgewater, where a Christmas tree grower is giving up on the U.S. market. We begin with Rob Gordon and the fears that Liverpool could lose its paper mill and the 300 jobs that keep Liverpool going. It's a pretty town, steeped in history as old as Nova Scotia itself, and the main employer here casts a long and vital shadow over everyone who lives here. A couple of hundred years ago, Liverpool was home to some of the most successful pirates in North America. They made the town a very rich place. But when those days were over, full water came to town, and making paper became the lifeblood. Since 1929, Bowater Mersey has produced newsprint for the newspaper industry across North America and around the world. Hundreds of people work at the plant, hundreds more provide the wood needed for the plant. You don't have to look far to find someone connected to Bowater. My stepdad, my dad used to, my uncle, Megan's dad, Megan's dad. But things aren't good in the industry. A high dollar, overcapacity, and new owners have all combined to push Bowwater to the edge. Abbott Tibby Bowwater, as it's now called, says it will decide the fate of the plant in the next 30 days. Without Bowwater, Liverpool would be devastated. It's the and Thompson has sold real estate here for 20 years. With this 30-day thing going on, I'm sure people will be sitting on the edge of their seat to a decision is made. Sure. The company wasn't speaking about any future plans today, but the possibility of the plant closing is talk of the town. It'd be a ghost town. Pretty much. It's the only thing keeping the town here. That well, wouldn't be good. It'd be a lot of people like my wife would be at work, so... Liverpool may be a small town perched on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, but its future depends on world market forces and national monetary policy. And in about 30 days from now, the people here will find out just how those forces will directly impact their lives. Rob Gordon, CBC News, Liverpool. Nova Scotia's Lunenburg County 